How's it going everybody? Good to see you guys. Let's do this. Today I'm going to do a little uh, demo here for you guys. Stay tuned, I gotta get my coffee. Where's my coffee at? Thank you so much little guy. Guys, I'm only getting my coffee because I can't do it without my coffee. Bam! <laughs> I just got a new one. <laughs> can't do it without my coffee, son. All right, here we go. Today I'm gonna do a uh, uh, expressionist portrait, and mmm, man, this coffee's good. They did it with love. I love coffee too. I love that. Yeah. I love coffee. Coffee makes me happy. <laughs> I love that. So here we go, guys. I do a portrait. Uh, I was looking at a portrait here, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna use this as an as an inspiration. My wife uh, loves magazines and whatnot, and and I was looking at this. Solan, I think Solange, uh, Beyonce's sister, yeah, Nicole Sol Solange right here. And she's just beautiful. And I want to be able to, to use this as an inspiration because a lot of people have asked me, like, how do, you, how do you create inspiration? How do you get, like, reference photos and whatnot? I like to get inspired with things that I see everywhere. I believe that as, a, as artists, we can become inspired in different ways. So let me show you guys right here maybe that way you guys can see one of the things that happens though in in creating inspiration like this is that artists can tend to um here let me let me put the magazine right here when this happens many times artists become fixated on the image and when we become fixated on the image, we can't really see more. Let me show you the image of Solange right here. Let me get closer. So that's one of the reasons I tell you guys, look, don't get caught up in stuff because then you are not going. Because then what happens is that you start trying to mimic, copy, or, or, or trying to satisfy your mind, right? And that's a very difficult game to play unless you're doing like a commission and, and Solange is like, dude, I gotta look like Solange. That's a different that's a different thing because now you're doing representational work. Okay? I'm not talking about doing representational work here, guys. I'm trying to oh, sorry. I'm trying to get you guys to to understand. Uh those of you who don't know, share uh um to be inspired by everything, by your surroundings. As artists, we have to get inspired. It's, it's, it's natural. Many people get weirded out by it. They're like, oh my God, no, it can't look like that. Then don't do it like that, you know? But you have to, as artists, we're sponges. We get, you know? So anyways, I'm going to do a portrait, my portrait, based on this. It's not a representational thing. I'm not looking for it to look like Solange. Solange didn't pay me, nor I want it to look like Solange. I just want to create a portrait based on this, on, 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 on this image, right? On what I see from here. You have to get from different, different places, different sources, from your drawings, from things you see on TV, from things you see on magazines. And, and you know, you become, you become more, uh, it molds your thing. At least for this type of work. I'm not saying that if you're doing representational work, Right? But it becomes that. So here we go. Look, I start with graphite. This is a graphite. Okay? And then it allows us to create work in a different in a different way. Your experience is See, when, when you lift the burden of it has to look like that, when you lift that burden up, off yourself, you actually, you actually become free. This is, this is where the freedom is. 
And I, I talk about this in other videos, but you have to lift that. You have to lift that from yourself because then you will not, you will not reach your, your, your uh, freedom, right? You will not get your freedom. And this is one of the reasons why when I do videos like this, I don't, I don't normally show my drawings or, 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 uh, what do they call them? Uh, sources, right? Because people get fixated on that. And then, and then, then we, don't, we don't go beyond that. We don't go past it. You know, we don't go past that and then we can't create artwork. And we have to, we have to go past that to be able to create artwork. So here we go, guys. Yeah, I was just looking at this right now. My 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 wife had it um, in her in her bedroom, and I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little video with Solange. Solange, Solange is beautiful. And hey, oh, you guys, this guy's wants a couple of little puppies. They wanna. <laughs> Water boiler is broken. <laughs> I like that. Well, be careful. So there it is, guys, something like that. Let me get some. Uh... All right. And then I'll move, right? Because if you stay in one place, you start thinking about it. So I'll move. And moving helps me figure out my deal, right? Moving helps me figure out my deal. I start. There we go. And this is very much how I like to do it, guys. Again, unless it's is uh, representational, then and then it's a whole other game. I know many, many have asked me before uh, to do uh, to do one of these videos with with uh, an image source or something like that. And another thing that I like to do is to keep the brush going. If you don't keep the brush going, it's 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 a fine dance between keeping the brush going and not being desperate. Once desperation hits, you're not you're not doing it right anymore. Because now you're trying to mimic something or you're trying or you're stuck somewhere or you're trying to please your mind. And if you're trying to please your mind, 
uh, I don't I don't think you're painting anymore. At that point, you may be illustrating, you may be doing other things, but not painting. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kim. I really appreciate that. It's in the desperation. I remember uh, feeling that, right? But not knowing, not knowing what it was. Uh, feeling desperate when I created artwork. You know, having these feelings of, of, of being desperate. I'm like, what am I doing? Where? What am I doing? It's not. It's not so much that I'm doing something wrong. Is that I'm trying to please my mind, and 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 in trying to please your mind, you'll forget your own um, your own thing, right? You'll forget your own thing because the 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 mind wants to wants to it wants to be it wants to control right so so if if the mind is controlling there is no room for art it's like it's like for there to be a dance there has to be a letting go right i think that's what that cartoon was about that uh that uh that cartoon um frozen that disney cartoon because in in order for anything to be truly uh, it has to come with a freedom. It, it can't. It can't come out of domination. It has to come. That's why. That's why women. I always say women ex express um, more naturally. You guys. You guys have that. Women can express that better because because you guys are open. You guys are 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 are. Um, I don't know. You guys were were giving that. I don't know what 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 how to actually express it correctly, but but there is more uh, more uh, truth in the way that women express, I believe. And I'm not saying that we men don't, but we see men men are men 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 are represented like this, and 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 no, I'm sorry. Yeah, men, 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 men are like this, right? We're spear, and and women are like this. It's, women is like the universe. Women, women, women is more open. It's more open to 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 understanding. To to uh, it's it's. Uh, I don't know. You guys are blessed that way. It just happens to be. <laughs> Like, if I know that I'm doing the right thing, all I have to do is go ask my wife. <laughs> I can't ask another guy or I can't, you know, uh, I'll ask myself too. But if I really want to know, I'll just be like, what do you think about this? And then I'll get, I'll get something true. <laughs> anyways, guys, something like this, right? Um, let me see. And then also what, what I've noticed is that the, the painting starts painting itself. To put it in those words, right? The painting starts doing its jam. It doesn't, it doesn't need much of me. It, it needs me, but it's, it's, it's that dance. I talked about it before. It's that, it's that dance between, between doing and allowing, doing and allowing. It's a, it's a, it's a strange thing. You know, it's a back and forth. <laughs> so it's a, it's always a doing and allowing, and and that's what I love about creating this type of work, right? go now again like I told you guys in the beginning 
you want to use the you want to use the image as as something for something else to come out. You know, this is where many artists go wrong. They're trying to mimic the image. And and I mean, you know, by all means, if someone paid you to for it to make it, or or if you must absolutely, if you're a realist and you must absolutely need it to look a certain way, then you know, whatever, right? But but if you're trying to create expressionist artwork, you use it and, and, and you let it go. It's a trans it, you, it's it's almost um how can I say this? It's almost like a you you're not even borrowing. You're using it as a channel. You're not even borrowing from the image. You know? You're using it only as a as a channel. The image becomes a channel. It's a it's an entrance. This is another word too that I like. It's an entrance. It's an entry point. It's an entry point. And then once you you because because what happens is when we create art, we, we need to focus because it's all about attention. So you need an entry point. You know, you need a you need an entry point. And many times what happens with us as artists is that we we get stuck in the entry point and we never enter. We get stuck in the in the doorway. We're like, oh yeah, I'm walking in there. No, you don't. You just got stuck in the doorway. You know. That's why for generations are going to go by and we are going to continue to love Van Gogh, Monet, Sisley. We're going to continue to love uh Germa de Moses. We're going to con continue to love artists who challenge the status quo and and showed us that they went inside. They didn't just they didn't just uh, stand by the door, right? I hope I'm making myself clear with this. They didn't only only they saw the sky and they weren't trying to mimic the sky. They saw the sky and they and they and they painted the sky. They weren't trying to mimic the sky. They were painting the sky. They use it as a doorway. And this is this is my constant practice. Every day I'm trying to practice this as an artist. I'm trying to use it as a doorway. When I see an image, I'll, I'll, I'll grab it and I'll use it as a doorway. Okay. Oh, I saw a horse, you know. Oh, I saw a... A tree uh, or a group of trees, oh, okay. And then it becomes a doorway only. It only becomes a doorway. That's why I love that quote by Picasso. I start with an idea and then it evolves to something else. Because he's, he's, he was doing the same thing. He was only getting that as a doorway. It's like, oh, okay, this is this is the point of entry. Right? So Solange, the magazine right there, that's the point of entry, but that's not who I'm painting or what I'm painting. Right? Because because this is something else now. Because if I try to paint that, I'm going to be stuck and I'm going to be frustrated, or I'm going to either create something that is a, a representational, which is fine, but that's not my gig, right? That's not my gig. I'm trying to I'm trying to go beyond the representational, and I'm trying to paint something that can take me beyond that. So how do I do that? And it's not vaguely trying to paint it either, as some people suggest to some people think that, oh, okay, all you have to do is vaguely paint it. No, it's not. It's not that either. It's you just you're you're just using it. You're using it. Uh, you're you're you're. It's a doorway. That's all it is. It's a doorway. It's no more than a doorway. And if you're lucky. It'll let you enter. And what I mean lucky is that if you are <laughs> pure of heart, <laughs> you can only enter your pure of heart. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not judging it, if you're not thinking about it, if you're not constantly being like, oh man, I did something wrong there. If if you if you uh, don't judge it, you'll enter it in your own way. The whole thing is judgment, really. 
if if the judgment stops, if you drop the judgment uh, on yourself, uh, you're going to be able to to um, to experience it in your own way. You know, but if you're constantly like, oh man, that doesn't look well. Oh man, that it's not right. You know, then then you're gonna have a hard time creating the work. Because the whole thing is judgment. So I hope I, I'm making any sense, you guys, to some of you who are interested in creating works of art that are more expressionist and using whatever you have available, right? Whatever you have available to you to... Uh, to use it as a doorway to go deeper within. And then you can play at the end, you know, you can do little highlights or you can do whatever, you know. But the mass is created already, right? The mass is already created. The rest of it is just bells and whistles or just finishing touches. So there you guys have it. I hope I made any sense. My name is Jose Trujillo. I happen to be the world's greatest living artist. Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Snig Do Deep. Singdo Deep says, uh, you do make a lot of sense. You do so good, both with words and colors. Kim says, looks great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Here we go. Now, if, if we try to compare it, we're going to be disappointed because that's not the, the exercise. The exercise is to allow it to be. Oh, Deep, awesome. Thank you so much. So the exercise is, is to allow, is, is to allow yourself to go deep on the on the on the artwork, and to allow yourself to make mistakes and to you know whatever that is. What's what's a mistake? Mis mistake by who? You know, to who? Whose idea, right, of a mistake? So you allow yourself to be, and and you give permission. You give yourself permission. To just create. And that's where the juice, you know, that's where the juice starts happening. There are no mistakes. Now what the mind, the mind will do when you're doing this exercise is you're going to constantly be comparing it. You're constantly going to be comparing it. And that's always going to create a problem. It's going to create a problem because, because then you won't allow yourself to be free. And the whole point of the exercise is to give, to give yourself freedom to to do things in a different way. This is how I create work. This is how I find myself creating work. I've noticed that that I started noticing that a lot of the old artists, Delacroix and 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 you know all the 17th, 18th century artists uh, up to you know 1960s. I saw that a lot. Uh, they gave themselves permission to just create and. Many times today, we don't give ourselves permission. We either want to just skip steps or we want to make it look hyper-realistic. And that's fine. If that's the gig, that's fine. But you have to allow yourself to make... to make. Uh, one of the quotes that I like by, by this book called uh, the, the Tao Te Ching says, if you want to straighten yourself up, right? If you want to straighten yourself up, like if you want to do something right, I guess is what I was trying to say, right? Uh, allow yourself to be crooked. Like, like allow the mistakes, allow things to happen, you know, be okay with it. And I, I think that's where the gold is anyways. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much. I made, I, I, I think I finished with this. I don't know if I may retouch it or no. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to think about it. So, so to me, it's, it's finished. It's a, it's a masterpiece. Anyways, guys, I will be posting my artwork as usual on eBay. And I'm I'm more than sure this one's this one's gonna be there. It's definitely a foul based piece full of color. Thank you so much. 
Solange for being uh, a, a, a beautiful uh, model tonight. Appreciate it. <laughs> You've served well tonight. And there we have it, guys. All right. Take care. And I will talk to you guys soon again with another one of my awesome artworks here. Adios.